Hi there chaps and chapettes, Brush and Quill here, and at the minute I'm all at sea. So I'm just going to talk to you briefly about a new project that I'm going to be starting on, which is another one that is inspired by literature. In this case, oh, Hornblower. This is the, the young Hornblower, which is the uh, omnibus of stories about him as a, a midshipman, all the way up to the point where he gets appointed to be captaincy. And in particular, the story that I'll be looking at is one which uh, was made into one of the TV series, it's Rohan Grufford, called The Frogs and Lobsters, whereby he's actually uh, on shore with, with uh, a regiment of infantry uh, defending a French uh, bridge basically, during a royalist invasion, set roughly around the Battle of Quiberon Bay in 1795. Now, I did make a start on my naval stuff a while back. I built uh, this cannon here. This is all Steve Barber figures. There's a, a marine sergeant there uh, helping with the loading and... Uh, uh, some sort of lieutenant or, or post captain there at the back. So that's uh, the lieutenant. Um, that, that sort of was the start on it. But I've expanded since then. You saw the Sadler I painted the other day, um, but he needs to be rebased. Um, he's a Perry miniature, and with him came some other sailors. Uh, this one's particularly mashed up there with his, his cutlass. Um, guy... Ooh, can't get him in the camera. Guy firing pistol. And then there's, these also got cutlasses and pistols. And then there's this guy here. So it's those five sailors, they're going to be part of it. I'm going to get another five with muskets to use as um, the second half of that unit to make ten. And then I've recently... Uh, just drop it on the floor. Uh, I've recently bought these two new packs. They're not new, but they're new to me. Uh, BH99 and BH100. And these are marines. Uh, let's just open them up. So, uh, 99 is the command pack. You've got a, a corporal or, or, an off, or a sergeant here uh, with his gun about to bring it up into the firing pose. It's a captain, I think, with his sword out. And then got another um, NCO here actually firing his weapon. There's an NCO who is meant to have a I can't get it out of the box. And have a boarding point. So he would be holding that. Um, although this is soft plastic, this pipe, so I'm actually going to replace it with a hard, not soft plastic, soft metal. So I'm actually going to replace it with a, uh, a a stronger metal one. But he's got his boarding pipe like that. And then you've got a drummer. Because uh, without a drummer, how do you beat quarters? Uh, and the last one is a high-ranking marine officer. I'm guessing uh, a major or, or something along those lines. And then in BH100, uh, this is just your regular marines. So you've got another marine about to bring it to the firing pose there. And again, another man actually firing off his musket. Uh, what have got? Uh, same with the first, uh, same with the second. And then you've got 
a guy there reaching for his cartridge. And the last guy is, of course, ramming home the charge. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to get some Marines. The, um, the, the Red Coat Marines, I think, were actually what got me interested in Napoleonics more than the infantry. Um, I've always loved them ever since Hornblower. I first saw Hornblower and saw them in their uniforms. Um, and I, I read the book, and there was a there was a great series of books about Marine. I can't remember what they're called now. Um, but um, yeah, so that they're going to be the, the like one of the big ten man units of my force. Um, and then the last thing I've got here is I've actually got a second cannon. Uh, this one is from War Games Factory. It's meant to be a pirate one. But um, I think you could quite easily get away with these as, as British sailors because they didn't really have too much of a uniform. Um, so I think if I paint them up with a similar paint scheme to the actual cannons that uh, I've got, then they'll come out looking fine um, for that. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, they've come, they've kicked the box from all from uh, Foundry, comes with lots of little extra worms and uh, rammers and stuff which is great because I can use that to uh, fix the awful one I put on this sergeant here. I'm also going to need to fix that sergeant's shoulder because he's got the wrong uh, insignia. Now one of the things I have to say is that set in 17 uh, 95 but that doesn't mean I'm going to be overly accurate to that um, I wanted Marines with the the classic Marine round hat whereas in 1795 they still would have been in uh, tricorns um, and, and they weren't even Royal Marines then they were just Marines uh, so they were they still wore a white collar on cuffs opposed to the navy blue ones but um, it's going to be a bit blurry the timeline for that and it's set on the fictional story anyway so i think that's fine but anyway so uh that's the project that's coming up you guys have a good one and i'll see you over the horizon